Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome to today's slimming cardio exercises. And this is another no repeat. So we're going to be doing 20 exercises today, not repeating anything. So let's get warmed up, step touching, and just gradually bringing in the arms to get all four limbs moving to get us nice and warm for today's exercises. Good. You can move off the spot. That's it, get those ankles nice and mobile. Get the knees nice and warmed up. And just cross the body, across and across. Good, let's count it down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Hold your spot here. Last two. Now, nice big high knees, keeping the back very straight here. Knee up. That's it, drive that knee up, feeling a nice stretch there for the butt cheeks. Punch it out, punch, punch, good. Now we're getting the hip flexors here at the front, nice and warm while we stretch out the opposing muscle group, which are the glutes or the butt cheeks. And we keep those arms punching out. That's it, punch it out, good work. Lift and lift, lift and lift. 10 to go, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now little marches on the spot and we'll take it across the room just so we can get some lateral exercises going as well. And back over we go. Drive those elbows right back there. Good, that's really gonna keep the heart rate elevated for you. Don't forget to breathe now. So taking in your air, exaggerate your breathing. You should hear yourself breathing in and out. That's it, good. And pull the arms back, good. 10 to go. Last five and four, make your way back to the middle. Three and two and one. Gentle little heel dig, slight bend in the knee. Let's open up that chest a little bit, pushing those elbows, or sorry, those hands, yeah, and the elbows right back. So you feel a nice stretch there in the chest. Push and push. Good. Try and keep the arms pretty straight, working a bit into the triceps here as well. And you can go as slow or as fast as you like in the warm up, depending on how you feel. Great. And last 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it back to a brisk walk. Again, using those arms, pumping those elbows by your side, push them right back. So you feel further stretching now into the front of the shoulder and the upper chest. Let's go a little faster now as we work our, our way through this warm up. That's it, good. Now our sequence to work with today is 10 seconds to rest it out or just to transition. Give your mind a moment to take, take in the next move and 50 seconds to do the work. Now 50 seconds is too long as I do know that's a long old interval. You can just reduce that time down to maybe 40 seconds or 45 seconds and that just means you have longer rest. Well, let's crisscross the arms now. Really love to open up the chest, particularly if it's a morning workout. That's it. Work your way up and down your body. Even go over your head if you want to. That'll get the heart rate up a little bit more. That's great. Count it down with me now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now open the legs. Maybe a little bit wider than shoulder. Depends yourself on how well balanced you feel. Tap out the floor just to keep the heart rate elevated. And big circles for me. Nice big circumduction of the shoulder. Shoulder joint has a lot of movement available to it. Good. But that, you know, that movement, that amount of movement it has available to it just opens up the shoulder joint to a you know more risk of injury so it's important that we do exercises to keep our shoulders and our rotator cuffs very healthy so just getting that movement done every day same way you may move your legs every day 
move your upper body every day as well. That's it. Good. We all know that saying, if you rest, you rust. That's it. Good. Going forward now, keeping the torso very upright for me. That's it. Find a fixed spot on the wall, stare at it. Five to go. And four. And three. Last two. And this is your last one. Okay. Feeling nice and stretched there, the upper half. Let's get going. Right, we're starting off with a step touch, but it's at an angle. So just changing it up a little bit for you. So if you just turn at an angle and back. So it's just basically step touch, one foot meeting the other, and then we're gonna punch out the ceiling. And that's your first exercise. Second exercise will go the other direction for the step touch. Right, have a great time. Enjoy yourselves. 10 seconds to go. 20 exercises. All right. March it out till we begin and then just gently turn your body to the side and let's go. So step, touch, punch it out. Come on, let's get those all four limbs moving. Punch it out. You want to punch out, punch down. That's it, good. Giving those arms direction and up and down. And have fun with today's workout. They really are great full body fun moves here. Good. Punch it out, punch it down. Come on. And down. And down. Good work. Keep going. Last 15 seconds. Good. You can speed it up if you want to really get that heart rate up, get that cardiovascular system worked. Slow it down if you're new here. Or you've been away from exercise for a little while. All right, let's march it out. March in between just to keep the heart rate elevated. Make them big or as small as you like. Other side, let's go. Step across. That's it, come on, let's get those arms moved again. Now if your arms are feeling fatigued from the first exercise, you can just do a chest press. Push it out or just do the down portion. That's fine. Good, these are really feel good moves. They're gonna get you energized and feeling good as well mentally so working on our mental health our mental well-being here as well good now our next move we're going to do a little run or you can just step it run or walk forward and back then back to the start and repeat good getting off the spot a little bit more with exercise three down come on keep going just there now well done okay so a little run about four or five will do forward back and run it again or you can just step it if you want to don't worry if we get out of sync with this one because you will be quicker if you're doing little runs or marches sorry fast marches on the spot one two three four five that's it you just keep doing what you're doing in your time one two three four five forward and back one two three four five forward back come on one two three four five good and back one two three four five forward and back one two three four five keep going if you're getting tired just step it out that's fine walk it forward and walk it back one two three four five well done okay got some butt kickers coming next just kicking out your rear there behind you with your heel good and we we'll add in the arms front raises i think go well here you can either do singles or doubles doubles are a little bit more advanced because uh, you can speed up the move a little bit singles require a little bit more coordination two together a little bit easier on the old head that's it good kick it out kick kick now do your best to try and get the heel up as close to your bottom as you can there your bum cheeks good <coughs> come on we can do it kick it out kick it out now we're back to a step touch move next but we've been mixing it up by changing up the arms okay now it's only a mini step touch i'll show you now in the 10 second rest good 
well done so it's just a small step touch then punch across the body for two then we're going to circle the arms for two watch out for any lights above your head let's get ready for it get the legs going first okay now bring in the arms one two circle for two one two circle for two now we warmed up our shoulders very nicely there in the warm-up so they're very ready for this move here one, two circle circle one two and circle one two be strong with your punches now one two and circle and circle good come on keep going and around and around let's hear those big deep breaths keep that air coming in and out for me good and around and around well done okay that was a lovely move feeling very strong now my upper body heel tap for two then we're going to sit and reach okay so getting those glutes involved a little bit here and your your thighs whoops punch out i'll do that again one two sit and reach one two sit and reach it's a very bouncy move i'm going to get my coordination here one two sit and reach one two sit and reach i think if you get the arms involved with the heel digs you won't get in the mud like i am one two sit and reach there we go one two sit and reach good now it's like i was saying it's very ballistic one two so we'll get that heart rate right up there for you one two sit and reach and last one sit and reach i found it hard to talk there <laughs> and try and demonstrate that right step across the room we're going to step across the room and we've got some arm slams okay if you want to shuffle it bring up the pace a little bit that's fine too get your arm slams in nice and gentle on your feet there that's it good and across we go well done and across now really be strong as you slam down when you slam down keep your back nice and straight good and down keep going come on that's it that's 10 seconds head is held high as you shuffle or step across the room and slam one more well done now we have another travel across the room it's a travel squat open your leg drop your hips close your leg open and drop and just repeat till you run out of space and then just go the other direction that's it you don't have to go down too deep just drop the hips a little bit good and down and across that's it and keep that chest up for me good let the knees track out over those toes or shoelaces if you're wearing your footwear head is held high think about the tailbone heading to the floor the chest stays stationary that's it hands in prayer position to encourage that upright posture well done oh this is a leg burn great even body weight sit down and last one well done that was a lovely exercise now we're going back to another lateral move because they're all coming together today double step touch so stepping over step it over now crisscross the arms drive those elbows back good work now really get those elbows high for me high without the spine changing its position so if you feel like the back is losing and um, its position bring the arms a little lower that's it good come on we can do this drive those elbows back good work nice inner and outer thigh work going on here always good to get those inner thighs worked good last few seconds heart rate's coming up with this one 
Okay, now we're gonna X legs, so behind, behind, and a nice little tricep push back. Okay, join me now when you hear that deeper. Keep up off the heel there behind you, just let the toe step back on the toe, feel a nice stretch for the calf. That's it, good. Try not to force the heel in to the floor, just watch your Achilles heel or your Achilles tendon. That's it, push back. Lovely mobility for the upper chest and the shoulders. You can add a little hop here if you're feeling nice and energized now. Good. And push back. Push. Push back. Great. Keep the chest upright now. Just look forward. That really, really does help to stop the chest from falling. If you're looking at the ground, the chest will follow your gaze. So keep up, keep looking up. Well done, okay. Four knee taps. One, two, three, four, four step back. And get those triceps going as well, as well with the step backs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, good. One, two, three, back nice and straight. Good, and keep your heel up here as you step back. That's it, good, come on. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, good. Keep going, feel the hip flexors working here and the glutes stretching out with those knee raises. And again, lift for two, three, four, good. One, two, three, four, and switch. Two, three, four, and one, two, three, and we are there. Well done. Okay, good work, excellent. Double leg curl, that's two on one side. Switch it around, good. Okay, let's go. One, two, let's get some back rows. Always great to get those posture muscles worked every day. One, two, good. One, two, you can go down lower if you want to. Changing up the angle, just changes up what muscle group you're hitting there behind you. Our traps, we have upper traps, mid traps and lower traps. So just changing up the arm position hits the different portions of the trapezius. Good, one, two, kick it out. Come on, feel those hamstrings, back of your thigh. Good work. Excellent job, come on, keep it going, just there. Well done, okay. Now we've got a little mini squat, nothing too deep. Circle the arms. Now this is very bouncy ballistic again, like one of the moves we had earlier. So it is going to increase that heart rate a little bit for you. You can go deeper if you want to, that's fine. See what your mobility and your flexibility allows, but only if your technique is good. So don't let the chest fall. Well done. And draw a big circle for me. Excellent job, keep going, come on. Reach and go around. Woo, feeling those, that booty and those legs working hard. Come on, keep going. Circle, heart rate's coming up with this one. Big arms, big bouncy moves. Come on, you can do it, stay with me for the last few seconds. Last one, well done. Okay, my goodness. My heart is beating out of my chest here with that one. Okay, we've got some leg kick outs. If you wanna keep it elevated, you can work through that rest period if you want to. Just do the next move, get into it straight away. Punch it out. Keep going, come on. Higher legs, if your flexibility allows that and it doesn't cause you to lean back. And if you really pull your belly button to your spine, You'll avoid all this leaning back. We've got to make sure we're switching on our core muscles. That's it, kick it out. Kick, kick, come on, punch. Nice and strong with those arms. You can make your arms work for you, or you, they can just be limp and doing nothing. Come on, contract your muscles, there you go. Got some X punches next. 
all right so it's down down up and up and you can go as fast or as slow as you like with the tempo okay let's go one two one two punch punch one two down one two good one two one and if you're feeling really energized you can hop those feet on the down punches works well and up up down down good and up one two three four one two one two and one two one two good we're nearly there last few seconds we might get one more one two one and two next one we have side leg lift into a back lunge now you don't have to go into any deep ends of the knee stay on one side little step back will do there good if you want to put a chair beside you try going down a little deeper with the knee that's another option that's it good down well done quite a stationary move here but because we are working very very large muscle groups in the body you're going to get your heart rate up we're going to keep it elevated that's it good and step it back good work and back if you want to you can add those arms good lift push back lift push back okay march it out there on the spot we've got the other leg to do now to balance out that body good catch some air there while you can one and step it back maybe leave out arms for a little bit let your body get balanced good that's it good lift and back and can just try some lateral raises here I like to stay balanced with my hands under my chin maybe for the rear lunge good down and squeeze it out and squeeze it out remember now a little step back if you're struggling with these big bends of the knee and uh, lovely stretch here really in the hip flexor there with that back lunge great you can get mobility into your workouts real time saving moves i'll just get that back lunge in okay now with two knees knees and then two low impact jump jacks one two one two my hip flexors are feeling really stretched there you now after those back lunges one two and out for two one two out for two good two and out for two lift lift two good one two and lift and lift keep going now we're doing great working our way through each move here today got some body weight slams coming next again another stationary move but it's going to get the heart rate up i'm fully sure of it last one good work okay body weight slam keep that back straight slam and a bit like a dumbbell swing here you can see the action of the hips fire the hips forward keep the back straight come up into an upright plank so we're accelerating decelerating and as we've spoken about a lot of times on the channel how wonderful accelerating and decelerating the muscles it's great muscle work it really is great strength different way to get strong keeps those muscles engaged keeps them guessing and interesting and that's what keeps them growing good down and we really slam like you have a medicine ball in your hand slamming it to the floor down lift lift come on you can do it last few seconds 
feeling those legs working, feeling those butt cheeks working. Oh my goodness, last move now. Pure cardio. Okay, little jog or march it. All right, little jog. That's it. Peck deck, shoulder. Peck deck, shoulder. Or you can leave it at the shoulder press if you find combining these two moves a little bit tricky. That's it. Good work. Get that coordination. Let those legs do their own thing. Keep your back straight now as that arms reach above your head. Don't arch back. Good. And if you like today's workout, I'd appreciate a thumbs up on the video. That'll be wonderful. Every like we get here is so helpful for the channel. Good. Open and close. Good. Close. Lift. Just there now. Last few seconds. You can do it. Come on. You've done great to get through all these moves today. And there you go. Well done. Double thumbs up for your cardio class today. Well done. How enjoyable it was. Okay. Let's stop that and that. Okay. Ooh, that last one really shot the heart rate up. There was a few of them there and that really got me winded. Particularly those stationary moves. <laughs> Great though. Feels good to work those heart and lungs. Let's slow down this move a little bit. Good work. Okay, let's stretch out now into our hip flexors a little bit. Now you probably feel, oh my goodness, they've already been stretched, but let's find our way down into our hip flexor stretch here. Good. And hands behind the back. See if you can get your knee down a little close. Now if you're really struggling with this, I haven't got my little pillow around, but you can grab a mat and do a stretch down on the floor. That's it. Well done, lift those arms up and push forward into space. Now, you might feel that's too uncomfortable on your kneecap down on a hard floor, so just make sure you have a towel or a little mat handy, cushion, a little cushion or pillow. Well, and this is more like an, an easier version. If you feel like you're okay with the more advanced version, tilt that pelvis back again, because I want to lengthen out the thigh muscle a little bit more so just just doing that little posterior tilt of the hip bones tilt them back and then drop down into your tilt your stretch reach those hands behind your back again keep holding that stretch there that's it go down a little deeper down to the floor if you're really struggling i'd like you to hold it for a little bit of time but i know some stretches are so uncomfortable you, 10 seconds is more than enough for you just come up out of it, rest, go back in, keep repeating it, and eventually that 10 seconds will become 20 and so on. And forward, lift up. Good, that feels really nice. And come back out of it. Okay, let's hit the hamstrings. So sitting our hips back. Okay, drop those hips to the floor. Chest stays high. Lift your heel if you feel a little bit more of a stretch into the hamstring and also the calf. You feel it into the calf here as well. Now put your hands on the, your thumbs on the back of your, the top of your, your butt cheeks and that really opens up the chest for you. And it's not really, um, it's not too much involved with that stretch, so you don't have to think too much about it. So we can kind of multitask here a little bit. I know I don't particularly like multitasking when I'm stretching, but certain stretches are okay. Then there's not too much involved in them. Open up that chest, sit your hips back. Great work. Drop your bottom down. Feeling a good sweat now built up there today. That feels really good. Can you get down a little deeper? You'll have to bend this knee a little bit more and then gently come out of it. And stretch out the torso. Always love to do torso stretches. Nice big C curve. As always, those abs are engaged. Push to the other side of the room. Push those hands, those fingertips, like you're trying to touch the wall there, the other side. Pull the belly button in towards the spine, so you're holding that engagement for me. Excellent job. Reach back up, belly button in again, and 
stretch across. And I know myself, just from doing this myself, off camera, that I like to do two or three rounds of this particular stretch, because I find by the time I get to the third round, I feel like my body is really responding. I feel that way about most stretches. So if I go a second round, yeah, it's much, very, much more efficient. It may not look it, but for me, it feels like there's that tiny little bit more give in the muscle. Reach across, I'm really feeling in a very efficient stretch now there. And back to the center. Always make sure that you, your back is, your belly button's pulled in so that your back feels safe before you do any side bends to, for the spine that Reach across, well done. And I'll link up a longer cool down for you. You will find my cool down playlist linked up in the description box below the video. If you'd like to spend that little bit longer cooling down. And thank you so much for joining me today. You did a wonderful job and I will see you in the next workout. Big thumbs up to you, see you soon.